Welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, I'm just going to do a quick review on MIUI 13 for Poco M3. Well, we have not actually received MIUI 13 for our uh, Poco M3, but this is a port which is done by our friend uh, Mr. Flip. So um, he did a great job. I mean, uh, it was a port which was meant for Redmi 90, but again, um, the same had been actually reported to our device Poco M3. As you can see, it is actually using the default kernel and you can see also that it is having 2 GB extra um, that uh, memory enhanced thing or something like that. So basically you are having uh, that thing. So um, as you can see in the port, it is pretty much smooth and uh, the Play Store is actually certified. Um, so basically you go to the settings and you can see the Play Store is certified but to certify that you need to actually uh, have a couple of modules like uh, um, pixel 5 redfin uh, probe for december and you need to also have the universal safety net fix um, safety net fix by k dragon so these are two modules and uh, you need to enable the sig disk and enforce denial list then configure the denial list and tick all the um, all the items for Google Play Store as well as Play Services that that like uh, you can actually make it Play Certified. Now you will have a couple of Google applications in the ROM. Basically, uh, it is it is actually blotted with quite a lot of Google applications, which is actually a disadvantage. But when considering uh, you know uh, the ROM smoothness and stuff like that after installing all the uh, all the all the uh, magisk modules such as M MUI enhancer and uh, Poco M3 Adreno Vulcan driver and stuff like that. The ROM is pretty much smooth, and the ROM is pretty much. I mean, the ROM is quite stable. Many thanks to Flip for his efforts of uh, bringing this port to our device, and uh, the ROM is um, quite stable too. Uh, well, in this ROM, actually, in this port, actually, you don't get any extra modifications on user interface and stuff like that, which means there isn't any customiz any extra customization being added to the ROM. Just a standard customization is there. I will share the download link for this particular ROM in the description below. And if you prefer to use it, you can definitely use it. Only thing is that you need to flash magisk and along with a couple of modules like a universal safety net fix as well as pixel props. Um, then only you can actually, you know, um, make the make the uh, port Play Store certified. The reason I wanted to do um, do um, a review on this ROM is because the ROM has Monet by default. So basically. Um, when you enable the uh, the display dark mode you can see there are more dark mode options like adjust wallpaper to dark mode adjust and text and background automatically and stuff like that so basically you can expect to have um, monitor settings in the uh, rom enabled by default so um, there won't be any uh, display modes like uh, saturated and stuff like that so you won't be able to change the uh, color mode so there is no color mode present in the rom since it has the um, monet enabled in so this is how the uh, the 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 the, uh, the light theme theme looks like and uh, this is what you get so underneath the battery also i mean here yeah, the battery the battery performance is quite good and uh, it is actually charging quite quickly so basically you can expect to have a balanced battery performance um too so in this rom actually you have the uh, you have the uh, google um, dialer and google messages so you won't be actually having the stock uh, dialer uh, miui dialer and miui messages you won't be having that but you will be having uh, miui camera somehow the camera has some issues i guess maybe i'm using a couple of modules so uh, it was not working perfect for me apart from that you will have some uh, banking applications what you need to do is you need to enable the magisk uh, side disk as well as rename the magisk then you can easily use the uh, banking application without any issues and if you need any help in using banking applications i have done a two videos about the uh, banking applications how to run banking application on a router device so if you prefer to watch that you can also do that um, please check the channel or uh, please check the description link um, below you can uh, do that so um, this is my review about the port and um, the port is very smooth and it is quite good too 
then coming to the launcher going to the launcher settings you can actually customize the uh, reasons and stuff like that you can you, you will have two um two kind of uh, uh, arrangements like vertical and horizontal so that also looks really fine um once again i would like to thank you for watching my rom review please make sure to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon and once again i would like to thank flip for porting this to our beloved device thank you